Shalom, everybody. We got this uh, 15 bean soup, Hearst's ham beans. We get these at Walmart, and they're like two bucks. And they got a pound and a quarter of beans in here, 20 ounces of beans. And we're going to attempt some prepper food for lunch today. So we've had these beans right there. In uh, this pot soaking overnight and I've rinsed them twice you know dumped the soaking water out and then rinsed them twice and then put eight cups of water in there per the package and then we're gonna cut up it says a cup of onion so I figured about this much onion will go in there and then we're gonna add at some point this here beef smoked sausage and uh, let it boil and simmer and do its thing and see how it turns out. Because, you know, this is prepper food. I can, we'll just say hypothetically speaking, that I had a whole bunch of these, which I do, but I've never done anything with them. So I got these, right? I can and do grow these. And um, this could be beef, this could be lamb, this could be goat, this could be deer, um, hippopotamus. I think a hippo is a ruminant, I don't know. And uh, hey, it's mama. And the other thing that we're gonna add, garlic. You wanna say hi to the people? Yeah. No, not yet. It's too early for mom. So, yeah, I mean, this is a totally um, replicatable. I don't know if that's a word, but if it's not a word, it should be the words, because I have the best words, all of them. Now, replicatable, it's a word, it's tremendous, believe me, it's tremendous, everybody tells me. It's a beautiful word, beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, this is something that we could do when the balloon goes up without a problem. And I mean, wood stove, propane stove, whatever, we could still make fire and boil water. So we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Do you eat an onion, bro? I do now. Mm -hmm. Yummy bean water. Let's come to the seasoning packet. And uh, we will apply hearstbeans.com. Ham flavor. Um, all right, I won't be using that. I didn't know that. I will make my own flavor then. Okay. Beef. And other sundry chemicals. Garlic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to about 12 cloves. And now we'll do something magic. Boom. Where's Curry Caldwell been? Get in there, garlic. All right, so instead of ham flavor, we're gonna use caldo con sabor de res, beef flavor. Cause, room dance. Breakfast. breakfast, this is not breakfast. Go in there, shazam. Cover. And at 11.15, boom. I am. 15 bean soup. Yummy. Shazam. Plate it up with some ever popular long grain white rice. Thanks, Sam's. Alright, we'll see what the deal is here. Coomp. Coomp. Tastes like beans and rice with some sausage in it. That'll do. It's pretty tasty. It'll fill a hole. It'll keep you from starving to death. Not bad. I was informed by my lovely and talented wife, who has family in from all over the country this week. Otherwise, she'd be here doing this for you. That uh, there was some canned beef or something that she was going to do with this and I messed it up by putting this uh, beef kielbasa in there. Oh well. This is preparedness, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So, 
There's a prepper recipe for you. $3 kielbasa, dollar worth of rice, and $2 sack of beans, six bucks. Chasing a chicken. Shalom.